imagine Robin Williams. Imagine watching Robin Williams on right. any. Did you ever see that commercial where he's doing a commercial? <clears throat> and he won't stop around. I don't think so. And the, the director's trying to get him to stop around. He's like, will not stop around. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he's doing the different characters. And it's like, he's like, okay, Robin, can we focus now? And Robin's just going off. <laughs> yeah. They're... That guy you would never imagine could ever be sad. You know? I was an extra in a movie with him, Billy Crystal, and Julie's Louise Dreyfus. And I, and he, ever, some two people were sick. They went back to their trailers, and I was interviewing him. And he did it as Mrs. Doubtfire, <laughs> and it was an awesome, man. Everybody was losing it. You play it, Jamie. Let me see it. I said to him, I said, Fred, no, 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 would you mind, please? Pardon me. I, the it's already yeah, great. I, Look, his back is to the camera. Like he's a different guy. I've been just doing the line so we, we, and we can get out. Okay. I can't. I heard everything. For me, this place is fabulous. <laughs> I want to do the line for you. Robin, the line, uh, the introduction, just the one line that you've got to sure, do, okay, Robin, please? I will. Yes, sir. Okay. Foul ball, a male hygiene spray. You know, sometimes below the water line, you could reek. That's why I need new foul ball. Something the part very thing <laughs> had it upside down. <laughs> Sorry! This is fabulous. I couldn't believe it. Bobby, this can's too cold. Would you do the line now? Just the introduction, one line, okay? Yes. Right. Hello, I'm Charlton Heston. <laughs> no, I have very few Jewish friends, if any. But I'd like to say, won't you please help support the United Goyam College Fund? Help learn a child to eat hot dogs this year, mayonnaise and corned beef. Can we get another actor in, please? Oh, give me a chance, please. I need this. Uh, all I have to do is <laughs> say... You want to say... I didn't... Get <laughs> 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 You know, even though I'm... I'm not going to do it, I'm going to cut camera. you got to do the line now. Just... All right? Can we hear it, please? Okay. I really want to be in America. Now you're in Moscow. And I'm going to be glad. So I'm going to be glad. You know, what I would have loved to have seen, actually, is if they could have combined and drop off funeral and the Olympics and had him in the bobsled run. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, Howard. All right, okay. can we get it now? Yes, sir, you I know think what the we line can. Is? Do you want me to hold the cue card? No. Yeah, I can. Okay. The one that says, uh, oh, yeah, now doing commercial. Okay, yes, here we okay. go. Mm -hmm. Storm, Storm, that's, that's a German name, isn't it? Storm? Yeah. Oh, it sounds <laughs> like a dog. I love that old Storm. Come here, boy. Hey, off the leg. <laughs> We're ready now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, again? <laughs> I'm ready to say that line hard because I love you. I love you for the man that you are. An incredible man. More than just one night. A man who can, I don't know, make you realize, ouch, who are you? I'm ready now. Okay. Here we're ready. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Howard. Yes, Howard Storm is now directing commer commercials. Again, I, I can get it this time. Yeah, okay. once more. Hi. I'm Jack Nicholson, and you know, Howard Storm is directing goddamn commercials. It's incredible that he can find a camera small enough to work with, but God bless him for trying. His first commercial was Billy Barty on a footstool. God, I love the fact that the man <laughs> takes chances. Thank you. Thank and you. Cut. <laughs> he just wasn't going to do it. <laughs> He's a maniac. Oh, that's incredible. He was an odd dude, for sure. People get mad when you bring up uh, the joke thieving allegations with that guy. But that's just what it was. That went on for over 13 minutes. We only watched that's hilarious. Two, two and a half minutes of it. Oh <laughs> yeah, people God. think that you're not supposed to talk about that part. But that was part of him. Yeah, you, you have just, to talk about everything. The guy still was great. He was still great. He was very odd. And uh, I, I wonder if his brain worked so quickly that sometimes it was out before he knew it. Perhaps, you know, you could excuse someone for a lot of things. You don't, I don't know how his brain worked. Obviously, he had like mental problems, mm -hmm. which wound up, there was a lot of physical problems that wound up contributing to a suicide. But depression was part of that too. Um, but it's like, it was a, you have to also put it in context. There wasn't anybody like him back then. Yeah. There was Jonathan Winters, who he took inspiration from. Who a lot of people forgot about Jonathan Winters was like really weird like that he would do really weird crazy mm -hmm. stuff and act like just like different characters and just wouldn't be there and just would hold on to it and people would like panic and they wouldn't know what to do yeah. so I think he took a lot of inspiration from Jonathan Winters who's an amazing talent too but Robin was like very unique it was really nobody like him mm -mm. and he could act his ass off man he was really like good morning Vietnam like he was he was good in movies too yeah, I like Good New Hunting. 
when he's in that Yeah, man. Yeah, in serious roles. How about that uh, uh, 24-hour photo? Did you ever see that? Yes. Bro. Creepy. Creepy. Yeah, (laughs) he played a good psycho. It was very, very good. But, like, um, you would never imagine a guy like that would hit the rocks where he'd wind up killing himself. You're like, no way. Then then you start to wonder, like, ah, was the comedian part of him the show and the 24-hour photo was the real deal? I doubt the 24-hour photo was the real deal. I think the real deal was like a deeply depressed person that yeah. the, the reason why they were so good at getting people entertained is because they needed so much more than the average person just to hit like a baseline. Yeah. You know, I think when people are super depressed and then they use comedy as like a way to just, like a drug to mm-hmm. just get them. Ooh. 